Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to move components between files using master plugin. First, I have a bit of a confession to make. You cannot really move components between files in Figma. The only option is to copy the component to the library and then link all the old instances of the old component to the new component in the library. And that's where master can help you. I have a couple of components here and some tables on different pages, the dark, light and a couple of more. Let's start by moving this component. First I'm gonna copy it. It's pasted as an instance, so I'm gonna detach it, then create a new component and publish it. Once it's published, I can go to plugins, master, pink target component. And the master will remember this component for the next step. Next, I will return to the original component, go to Plugins, Master, Link Objects to Target Component. Master finds all instances of this local component in the current file and links them to the library component that we saved previously. Now we can check that this instance points to the library. This instance points to the library as well. However, instances on this page still point to the local component. That's because the page name starts with the underscore. Master ignores such pages and you can use it to either keep some instances local or to simply speed up the search process as master completely ignores these pages and doesn't search them. The process of moving variants is similar. Copy the variants component into the library and publish them. Each variant is technically considered a separate main component in Figma, so you need to pick and link each of them individually. Select the first variant and go to Plugins, Master, Pick Target Component. Then return to the original file, select the first variant again and uh, select Link Objects to Target Component command. Again, master finds all instances of this variant and links them to the new variant in the library. To speed up the process, you can use a shortcut Option Command P on Mac or Alt Control P on Windows. In the library, it runs the pick target component command and in the local file, it runs the link objects to target component command. As you can see, all instances of the variants are now linked to the library and this is exactly what we wanted. Now we saw the process of moving local components, but what if we have more instances of these components in other files, like here for example. The instances here are linked to this file. Plugins in Figma can only work within one file, so you will need to go through each file where instances of this component are used and repeat the following process. First, like previously, I will go to the library and select the new component that I want to use. Then go to Plugins, Master, Pick Target Component. Second, I return to the file with the original component, select this component and go to Plugins, Master, Link Objects to Target Component. Master says no objects that can be attached found and that's normal because indeed there are no more instances of this component left in this file. We linked them all to the library component. However, now master remembers the component we just tried to link and we can proceed to the third step. I can go back to the file where instances of this component are used, deselect everything by pressing escape and then go to Plugins, Master, Link, Objects to Target Component. Master finds all instances of the component that we previously linked and attaches them to the new library component. Now all instances of the old component in this file are linked to the new component in the library and you can repeat this action in other files. And finally I will show you that you don't have to go to the library for that to work. For example, I have these instances here and I don't want to touch the main component at all and I want to keep the local components linked to the main component. So instead I can first pick target component in the library, then go to the file, select one of the instances and go to plugins, master, link objects to target component. This instance is now attached, but also master now remembers this instance that I linked and when I deselect everything and run the same command again, master finds all instances of this component 
and links them to the new library component that I picked. So you can see now that the instances are pointing to the new component. Again, you can go through every file where instances of the old component are used, uh, deselect everything and run link objects to target component command. Master will find all instances of this old component and link them to the new component in the library. The key idea here to understand is that when nothing is selected, master finds and links all instances of the component it attached previously. That's it for now. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Goodbye.